Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Corn Kid here. What's going on? I know I haven't been making a ton of videos. I've been busy as heck. I got my new schedule. I just got home a couple minutes ago, 12 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I thought I'd show you my haul from Comic Con. Um, all my swag that I got. I made out like a friggin' bandit. And I hope to go do it again next year. So, here we go. Uh, I'm going to start off small and then get into the larger, larger stuff. So, all right. First off, uh, Obi-Wan, San Diego Comic-Con 2014, Star Wars Breakfast. This was fun. This was a lot of fun. Um, special thanks to Jimmy David, um, who hooked me up. So this was fun. We got a patch for it. Um, I won two mugs. Uh, one of them I gave to my friend Bash, and uh, the other one I kept. So, yeah, I'm going to put this on my um, jersey, my hockey jersey that I have. Uh, probably tomorrow or later this week, whenever. Next, button set for Crimson Peak. Uh, this is at the Legendary booth. Um, there goes my cat. So I didn't know what it was. Um, it's I found out it was uh, a film by Guillermo del Toro. I was in Hall H. And uh, hold on, my cat being my cat. You don't play with that. No, you don't play with that. Say hi to the people. Go, stand, go. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it's a film by Guillermo del Toro. And I was in Hall H, and he came out and started cussing and stuff. It was great. Um, Crimson Peak looks awesome. It's, it's a horror. He's back to his horror genre. Uh, Tom Hiddleston's going to be in it, so you know it's going to be awesome. So check it out. It's coming out next year. I think in May or June or July of next year. Um, next we have Batman Arkham Knight print. Uh, my buddy Joe, he got me this because I helped him with his, uh, um, his engagement uh, surprise for his girlfriend. Um, and she said yes, by the way. She said yes, so that was awesome. Everything went as planned uh, without a hitch. Lots of stress relief for me because I was helping and planning all of it um, with uh, two other friends of ours. And she had no clue, thankfully. So, yeah, so he gave me this. Uh, they had the Batmobile one, but he, he decided to keep that. And I think he gave one to his friend, so I'm happy with this. I love the, the Dark Knight symbol. It's awesome. And hopefully it'll stay on there. Okay, next. There goes my cat. Uh, got this at the Marvel booth. Avengers, Age of Ultron. Not coming out until next year. Really, really happy I got this. Nothing on the back. Uh, they were handing this out at the Marvel booth. Age of Ultron. Not coming out until next year again. So I will be wearing this uh, when it comes out. See if got oh, I guess I might as well show this. Um, again, special thanks to my friend Jimmy um, David. He was able to procure one of these. Uh, very, very exclusive. Um, Bushijo Psylocke, um, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Uh, this, she's not in her X Force outfit. It's uh, the her X Men outfit, blue, red. And you can see the little psi thing, her sonic, her psychic thing that she uses. This is the back right here. As you can tell, it's black and stuff. So, yeah. Again, thank you very much. Uh, the reason I, reason I keep them in boxes, um, California, we have earthquakes. That's my reason. <laughs> and it looks nice. Uh, another SDCC exclusive, Bluntman and Chronic. This is Cockknocker from uh, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Very happy to get this. Right there. And this is number 157 out of 400. Only 400 of these were made. Next, uh, again, special thanks to Jimmy. Um, Pre-ordered this. I got it for a little bit of a discount. 
And special thanks to Jimmy's friend. I don't know his name, but I mention you anyway because you got the early bird special on this. Harley Quinn statue. Only a thousand of these were made. Um, I don't know which one I got. Uh, this is her Arkham City outfit. Right there. But yeah. So that's cool. Really, really like that. Uh, next, Pacific Rim, Comic Con exclusive. This is the. If any of you saw Pacific Rim, remember the ending with the black uh, Gypsy Danger and all that. These are the action figures. The black action figures. Right there. So I was very, very happy to get these. Um, a little story behind this. I was going to pick one up for Vash, but they sold out when I got there. But luckily, my friend Thomas, um, he said, hey, uh, they didn't get a shipment in, apparently. Um, so they were selling them online at the NECA store. So I was able to uh, procure one of these. I was really, really happy. Instead of paying three to 400 I only paid $60. So still in mint condition. This I had to order from eBay. I did not get this at the con because um, I knew this was going to be a hot ticketed item on MaddieCollector.com. Um, what they do is uh, they, before, I think two weeks or three weeks before Comic-Con uh, starts up, um, they have these special uh, items from Mattel, and there's a separate seller called Maddie Collector. I don't know if it's the same one. I'm not sure. Uh, but I ordered this from eBay. The guy got it. I was very, very happy, very pleased. Because by the time I got it, um, I was able to get to the site. They were all sold out. So, Hot Wheels Star Wars. That's right. This one is what it was a hot ticket item. It still is because I'm a huge. I'm a. I'm a pretty big Star Wars fan. Don't like what George Lucas has done though. Star Wars. Hot Wheels, and what's inside? Waffles. We don't play with the sand disc adapter, sir. No, this is not a cat toy. My cat's playing with this. He's biting it. I'm sorry. So anyway, uh, Darth Vader. I don't have the batteries in them yet, but it's basically a lightsaber with a heart, uh, Darth Vader Hot Wheels car in it. It says Darth Vader on it. Um, you can take it out. Oh, and there's a button right here. Oh. Uh, I just realized that. <laughs> This is the first time I've ever done this. Holy shit. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, this thing is awesome. Okay, put it back. <laughs> no, waffles get down from the computer. Come here. Yep. Meh. Uh. Uh. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um. Wow, I, wow, that was a first for me. <laughs> I didn't even know that uh, the batteries were in that because I read the instructions. Oh, you got to put batteries in it. Okay, I'll do it. Whatever. Wow, that was awesome. Um, you, you saw it here first, folks. <laughs> How badass was that? How fucking badass was that? That was so cool. Now, if I could just get this box in, that'd be fantastic. There we go. Come on. Damn, there we go. That was fucking awesome. Oh, my God. I am so happy. I am so happy. Okay. Uh, next. This is a bit of a pain in the ass to get, but uh, I got it. Guardians of the Galaxy Rocket Raccoon Statue by General Giant. Uh, 2014 convention exclusive. 
Guardians of the Galaxy, best freaking summer movie. Um, some dumbass uh, on Facebook, I don't know who he was, but he basically asked um, which movie was better, Guardians of the Galaxy or I think it was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So he said it was like the best summer movie. I'm like, really? You really have to answer that fucking question? You really have to ask that question? Come on now, Guardians of the Galaxy, duh. Shoot. Um, next, pre-ordered this sucker. I'm happy I got it. Um, Bushiju's Spider-Woman, Comic-Con exclusive. Um, what's different about this one and the original one, this one is a metallic finish on it, so it's all shiny. So that's really cool. I'm very happy about this. Um, next item I ordered on eBay. I didn't know how hot of an item it was going to be at Maddie Collector, but when I went on the site, um, it said uh, they still had some in stock, but I didn't really want to go through Mattel and Hasbro and all that, so I just said, screw it, I'll just order it from eBay. Uh, it wasn't that much. I was happy about it. Let's see. Ooh, what's this? What's this? It's Doomsday, kids. Doomsday. What I love about this, besides this, well, besides the figure himself, is the packaging. Look at that. That's genius. There and there. He's breaking it with his fists. That's friggin' awesome. It's Doomsday. You don't fuck with Doomsday. Doomsday fucks with you. Move out of the way, Waffles. So, very, very really happy I got this. Back in the box you do. Back in the box you do. Sorry, this video is... I'm trying to do everything in a timely limit, even though I have unlimited time on my videos, but it's like everybody these days has a short attention span. Waffles, get out. Hold on a second, guys. You go. Go. Bad kitty. Bad. Okay, next up. Very happy I got this. It was only $20. Uh, for all you Kingdom Hearts fans. Kingdom Hearts. Comic-Con exclusive 2014. Keychains. Gold keychains. Look at how beautiful that is. And I need to fix one. I need to fix uh, Sora's. Because what are you doing, Sora? What are you doing, buddy? Yeah, there you go. So, very happy. Limited edition right there. Really, really cool. Very happy I got these. Uh, these next two were a pain in the ass to get. Um, there was a long, long, long ass line. Sunday, I got in. I was happy. It was the final day. I got in. Thank God. Uh, got it. Comic Con 2014 exclusive Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z and his original colors. So, very, very happy I got that. Was there, and for all you Power Ranger fans out there, Black Power Ranger. Um, I think he was in the show for only twenty minutes. I'm not really sure, too sure on the history. I think it was the original. Um, sorry, I keep having to move my cat away because he's so damn furious. Uh, the original. Um, yeah, it says Armored Black Ranger on the side. Yeah, I was in the show for only like 20 minutes, I think. My only exclusive that I regret not getting, and it was such a pain in the ass to get, and I blame um, Bandai. I blame you guys, uh, because what you did was stupid, in my opinion. Um, I was the first one in line for preview night. That happens on Wednesday night. I was there since 10.30 the night before, sleeping on a fucking thing. So I can get this one item. It was a, a must-have for a collector. And it was so cool. It was Tommy's Green Dragon Zord in 24 karat gold plating. Um, it was for like 150 bucks. 
And I went to the Bandai booth. I got there. I ran. Well, walked and ran. And the booths are supposed to be open 6 p.m., 6.15, somewhere around there. They told us, oh, we're not open. We open at 7. I'm like, okay, you know, I'll just wait around. And I said, well, you guys have the green dragon dagger sword, right? The green uh, dragon dagger. Like, oh, we're handing out tickets for that. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? You're handing out tickets for this thing? So every, it was a huge, huge mess over at the Bandai booth. I waited there for like 30 minutes. I said, screw it. I'm not even going to attempt this. This was insane the way they did it. So Bandai, I blame you for your shoddy performance and not opening up on time. You can hand out tickets and stuff, but it's like, come on, seriously? Really? Sorry, my cat keeps going over and looking at all the stuff. Okay, anyway. Um, God, we're at 15 minutes. Shit. 16. Okay, um, we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. we got three more items. Uh, next up, Naruto Uzumaki in his in the uh, Hokage uh, jacket. Um, fourth, fourth Hokage. I'm sorry. Fourth Hokage. Uh, very happy I got this. Um, cost me a lot of money, um, but it was worth it, in my opinion. Um, he just looks awesome. I mean, look at that detail right there. You know, in his uh, fourth Okage jacket. So that was cool. Uh, this is a big ticket item that I got. Um, I pre-ordered it, and I was going to have Kevin Eastman sign it, but the day I wanted to do it, uh, my Comic-Con bag broke because they were made like pieces of crap again. Last year was fantastic. Uh, I don't know why you went with this cheap-ass plastic Comic-Con. What the hell? Uh, the bags were cheap. Um, so it just wasn't meant to be. I wasn't going to lug this thing all the way down. Um, I can see Kevin Eastman next year. But I got... <clears throat> uh, bah, 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 bah. The PV uh, Comic-Con 2014 exclusive guitar, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Only 100 of these were made. And I got number 65 out of 100. So very, very happy. Um, I'll have him sign it when I get a better uh, thing next year. Uh, this next piece um, I got at Comic-Con. Very happy, very excited to get this. This is a movie banner, what they, what they put uh, movie banners on. Uh, well, it is a movie banner uh, from X-Men 2. Uh, they raffled this off, but we had an extra one, and I called dibs on it. So, I don't know if you can see, there's Storm, Cyclops, that's Rogue, <clears throat> Nightcrawler, Iceman, and the most awesome dude of all, Magneto, if you can see. Sorry, it's hard holding it up. Um, Ian McKellen. So yeah, that's all my exclusives I got, and I also, the star, I met some stars too. Um, I met uh, Andy Serkis, I got his autograph on my jersey. And I met uh, Chris Hardwick from The Nerdist. Um, he was really cool. He, he signed my jersey as best he could because the pen was dry. So, yeah. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my Comic-Con haul that I got. Um, I'll be sure to make more videos and stuff. Sorry this is so long. And anyway, um, take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Bye.